Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. So, I connected my Xbox One X, and I'm here playing Call of Duty: Modern Warfare. And uh, what's interesting is, even with the lights turned on and and my OLED turned on, and uh, the other light over here turned on, and some other background lights that are behind me, uh, this Bowmaker Parrot One does a great job projecting that light even when you have lights behind you so that shows me that this projector uh, it's pretty bright you know um, I wouldn't say that this projector it's like mainly <laughs> for outside backyard purposes it's not really for backyard purposes I mean you could use it in the backyard during the day don't get me wrong but the main purpose honestly of this one is to be in the dark and it does a really great job uh, bringing the detail this is a native 1080p it, it can handle upscale to 4k okay this is the upgraded version the one I have Bowmaker Parrot 1 uh, I did try 4k usually blu-ray movies it does handle it however it, it's not you know what you would normally see with like a pixel shifter but he can handle it you know he can definitely handle it so anyway let's do a couple of uh, matches here let's just play because uh, you guys would like to know how this bowmaker parrot one runs with Xbox one X and PlayStation uh, so Call of Duty Modern Warfare I think is the best test so I'm gonna go ahead and do that all right, so what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to go ahead and uh, leave it like this with the lights turned on because uh, I've been getting a bunch of requests regarding a, hey, what about if you leave some lights on? Like, how does this projector handle that? Well, this projector, it's 6,000 lux. Uh, it's another term used for brightness of lumens. In this case, LEDs, because uh, they are using LEDs. They're not using your traditional lamp that's commonly known on these old DLP projectors. Um, they're using LEDs, and LEDs obviously can last you longer. All right, so uh, this is pretty smooth, guys. Uh, I don't know if you can see my controller, but uh, there's really no... Uh, Input, barely any input lag, no latency, honestly. If there was, I would felt it here. But I don't feel any input lag. I don't feel any latency with a controller here. All right, so let's go ahead. It's 60 FPS. And uh, it's a native 1080p, obviously. But it looks really good, guys. Here's the, here's the good news. The good news is this, that it looks really sharp. So... That's a good news. Uh, it has really good speakers in the uh, in the back of the uh, projector, and um, it's very sharp. So you you are going to appreciate sharp detail that this projector has. So what I'm gonna try to do next is I'm gonna go ahead is I'm gonna turn off the lights. Okay. Okay. So I have turned off the lights. And, uh, oh my goodness, as you can see, uh, looks pretty sharp, looks pretty good, very impressive. Uh, people are asking me what is the usually the size that I go with, with a native 1080p. Um, guys, 128 inches more than enough. For gaming, I really not would not go any further than 128 with native 1080p. 128 inches, guys, it's more than enough. It's pretty big, <clears throat> especially if you're in a in a small room. 128 is just ideal for a projector, and this projector really does well for both gaming and for both uh, movies. So if you're watching movies, TV shows, games sports this projector bow maker honestly um, will not disappoint you uh, you cannot go wrong with the bow maker 
It has two HDMI's, two USB's, SD memory card slot, um, excellent speakers, really uh, no complaints about this projector. I have tested movies on it and for, 200, for $250 that you can get a projector like this that will bring you a excellent gaming excellent cinema premium experience sports uh, honestly it's I don't it's almost hard to believe that we're getting this kind of a deal with this projector so if if you were wondering whether or not you should purchase this let me tell you man I highly recommend that you go with check check this uh, projector it's worth every penny Guys, uh, I have tested everything on this thing so far. From sports, from sports to movies, video games. Yes, you can play your 4K UHD movies. I'll do a video on that. You can play 4K UHD movies. However, they're not going to be in 4K. And you're going to be missing HDR, obviously. But it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Now you're going to say, well, how is that possible? How could you run a 4K UHD movie on a native uh, 1080p projector? That's because it's a projector, and the projector has a chip built inside that it upscales to that <coughs> resolution. Okay? It's like an upscaler. It's like a 4K upscaler is basically what it is. Uh, and it does a really great job. But in terms of gaming, there's no latency, man. This is really fast. And playing Call of Duty on a 128-inch big screen, it's unlike anything else I have seen dude, or, or have experienced. Yes, I even tested Google Stadia on it. Um, so you are really getting a great package deal here for $250. Uh, for movies, video games, sports, even for business portfolio presentation, you can use it. Um, there is really nothing bad I can say. Not to mention you have two USBs, so you can put you can put two uh, eight terabyte hard drives or, or two three terabyte hard drives and have like six terabytes of, of content on top of the memory SD card. That you can put in there as well so you can have tons of content plugged into this uh, uh, projector meaning you can watch all your movies all your private videos what have you play video games watch uh, stuff from Apple TV Android shield uh, Roku Amazon fire stick so you're never going to be in a shortage of um, entertainment. I mean, really, uh, for $250, you are getting a premium quality and a premium performance. Bowmaker Parrot 1, uh, highly recommended, man. I know there's other brands. I know there's, uh, there's so many brands. A couple of things I want to mention here. Um, that people need to understand when it comes to these LED projectors. They're all pretty much manufactured in China. And all of these models are kind of similar. Like the Vivi Bright and the uh, the Bow Maker are kind of similar. Except that the Vivi Bright only has one HDMI input. But in terms of the quality, they're both identical. Uh, all of these $250 projectors from Vankyo, Vivi Bright. Uh, bow maker they're all pretty much identical they're all pretty much running in a native 1080p and they all pretty much have a similar lux uh, lumens brightness so they all pretty much are identical <laughs> in many in many uh, respects It's just kind of strange to play like a Call of Duty on a big screen. Um, it feels like you're like in virtual reality or something. 
because I'm not used to playing uh, Call of Duty on such a big screen. But it is cool. It is really cool. And there's no latency. There's no input lag. I know you guys are worrying about that. Trust me. I haven't encountered any of it. Oh, the guy was up in the window. Of course, they're camping. Campers. Oh, there he is. All right, get the assist. All right, so uh, there you have it, guys. Hopefully, this video gives you some glimpse on why I choose this projector and why I recommend the bow maker. And uh, once you once you start, you know connecting stuff to this projector once you start playing around with it then you're gonna realize oh my goodness man for 250 dollars uh maybe you can get it cheaper for 220 230 maybe with a discount you can get it for 200 for 200 dollars this is just like it's almost like hard to believe that they're actually selling these projectors with this uh type of uh premium quality and features and uh the price tag i mean really I haven't honestly I haven't heard anyone say anything bad about these projectors uh, and that's the reason why I decided to do these videos because guys I have spent $1,500 on a projector called uh, Ben QHD 2550 and guess what it didn't even last me, what, a year and a half, two years maybe. Two years if even that, a year and a half. Um, and guess what? The, uh, the LED unit lamp is now burnt out and I got to change the LED unit lamp and the LED, I mean, not the LED, the regular uh, lamp light I have to change and that regular lamp light it's about $150 just to change that lamp it will cost you $150 uh, it's it's first of all it's too expensive uh, and, and it, don't get me wrong BenQ HD 2550 has a great quality I'm not saying you're not gonna enjoy the quality yes you are but you you're spending $1,500 and look at the durability of my BenQ my BenQ lasted me for a year and a half and I haven't even used it that much roughly year and a half maybe close to two years year and a half and I have to change a light unit which is $150 light bulb uh, unit I have to change it for $150 not only did you spend 1500 but also you gotta you gotta pay for a light and uh, the light bulb when you can actually, <laughs> for that kind of price, for $150, add another $50, you can have something like this. You can have a projector like this with LED, LCD, and it's going to last you longer because of the LED. It doesn't use or consume too much power because it's LED. Uh, dude, I mean, this is no brainer, honestly, guys. Um, if you're somebody who's on a budget and, and really doesn't want to spend arm and leg I'm telling you uh, even people who are high, uh, like high uh, home theater enthusiasts even home theater enthusiasts would tell me man I'm blown away with a with the, with with these projectors these LED $250 projectors the stuff that they can do uh, and just the price tag that they're selling it at, at like a very nice affordable price tag Everyone's blown away. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Uh, actually, it's not crazy. It's awesome. So, I mean, anyone can, can afford one, you know. So, uh, well, there you have it. I hope this video at least gives you some idea why I choose Bowmaker. And um, as you can see, works great for gaming. No issues, no problems. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later on today, probably with a live stream or maybe another video that I have going on. I think I have another projector.
I have to unbox and I have to do some tests. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. I'll see you later.